I'm going to do an update type video. <clears throat> this is the uh, Jetson Atlas. And I've uh, I disabled the uh, pedal assist right here. Oh, this is the wire that goes to the pedal assist right there. And I'm hooking up a, a switch right here, right here. So I'll cut into this. I'm trying to hot glue this thing in there. So when I put this in, I'll be able to lock it in there. Uh, it's real close to the little stud right there. I think I might have it cut over far enough now. <coughs> but anyways. What, I'm, what my plan is to uh, use the uh, Bluetooth and uh, change the speed settings on this thing. If I want to switch over to uh, pedal assist and set the uh, pedal assist to like 12 miles an hour so I'm just getting a workout. And if I want to go fast then I can uh, turn this thing off, switch the pedal assist here, switch it off, and go back in and change it over to full throttle. You can actually push off, by, it says by pushing off, like a kick start, you can literally probably kick it forward or pedal a little bit and you'll be able to start it. But anyways, an update in this video. Good morning everybody. It's Saturday morning. I didn't remember the name the day of the week. You know, being uh, being retired, you uh, <laughs> forget what day it is sometimes. So anyways, I'm here to talk about the Jetson uh, Atlas and the Bluetooth that I uh, put in. So, start up my phone to the app. So last night I took the uh, let's turn this camera around. So last night I took this cover off, right? And the pedal assist wire goes up here and goes up through here. And the battery, the battery is like right here. It takes up the whole space pretty much. And then you got the controllers right over in here. So over here, when the plug that plugs into the controller for the uh, pedal assist plug. There's three wires in there and there's a red and a black and a, I think there's a yellow or a green one. Uh, green is like a signal wire. The red is the supplies of power. So I wanted to shut the shut the uh, pedal assist off and just go full throttle if I wanted to do that. So basically I, you have to unplug the plug from the inside and I said well, I don't want to keep doing that. So I spliced the red wire on this line, this one here, before it goes to the controller. I didn't bother with the controller uh, plug. So, so I just I cut the red, red wire and put this in. A switch. Out so you can see it. It's hardly noticeable. Right there. So that's hot glued in there. And all I got to do is the O. I don't know if you see it too well. The O is for off. 
and the eye is on. But right now I set it on, okay? Not my phone is oh awake. <clears throat> and get into this. Okay, so for those of you who are scratching your head, and remember this is on right now, pedal assist. I had it unplugged to do that drive test and I was getting 21 miles an hour with this throttle only or close to it but it was getting better speeds since I you know freed up the uh, chain on this uh, loosened the chain a little bit and I just readjusted aligned all the brakes on this and now it's all rolling smoothly and I lubricated the chain and everything so what we're going to do here is I have this set up to um, <clears throat> on the Jetson app. Once you go with the app that I showed you how to get the app for the uh, Ride Jetson app for the Bolt, Jetson Bolt Pro or the Jetson Bolt. They used to come blue chain with the Jetson Bolt. We had two of those bikes and I just used one to change this app and that was on a, pre one, a previous video so here we go so what you do is once you had put the switch in so if I want to if I want to uh, ride throttle only I just turn off the pedals which is that switch right here put it in the old position right now I got it in the on position and I went in here and changed the settings again. So what, what's good is once you get the Bluetooth to recognize the app in here, which I'm going to start, and what it's going to do is it's going to look for your product. And you turn this on up here. And you get your three bars. So you know what's on. So now, this is going to, one product on, it says connect to your product, so it's connected, okay? So what you do is, and I'm not going to do the settings because I already know it works because it's, I got to put the phone, I got to put the camera down, put it up, pop it up, and show you. So basically, in here, is what I'm getting at. Once you're connected, it'll connect. And it says Jetson, you hit this button right up here. It shows you the Jetson bolt. So you go down here, and you click on miles or kilometers. So what I've been messing with is the settings on the uh, pedal assist. So we go in here. Right below this, it says startup setting. You go in here, you can pick between um, accelerator or it says non. Oh, that's it. Ah. Get the update right now. Alright, so let's go back to this. So it says non zero start thrust against the ground. Well, that's like pedaling, put your pedals. So once you start pedaling, it'll kick in. Okay, so it's set up for pedal assist. That's what I want to do. Uh, sometimes that doesn't work. You have to press this back arrow here. It'll take you back. So, okay, so once you set your startup setting to pedal assist, and you automatically want to try to get your highest speed. I've tried it, you cannot, it overpowers your pedaling. I'm starting it at, I started at 15 miles an hour, and once I pedaled so far, with this, with the gear ratios in here, it only give you 12 you know, 12, 13 miles an hour. <clears throat> but if you set 
it back, were you actually putting effort into it for 12 miles per hour? You, you're actually going to get higher speeds, believe it or not. It's, it's kind of weird, but it is. Then, um, you can set it to any, if you want to like really pedal slow and go slow, and put it to 9 or whatever. So I'm going to experiment with the different settings on here because your legs can um, exert so much pressure or whatever. I don't know how, power, how in shape you are. Me being 63, I'm way out of shape. So I'm setting at 12. And okay, so when I want to um, get this thing off, uh, pedal assist for inside here. You turn this off. You turn this off here, up here. Turn it off. And it'll disconnect. This will disconnect. Okay. Now I want to turn off pedal assist. Flip that switch here, do it again. This is on. Now I turned off the pedal assist instead of unplugging the wire. So now I'm going to turn this back on right here. I get my bars. Everything's powered up. This thing automatically recognizes it. So here. So I want to take it off pedal assist, right? If I go in here, see it's telling me here. Now I want to get it go back to throttle only. Try to get close on here. Throttle only. That's the top one. Let's see if I can do this so you can see. So now it's set for throttle only. Now sometimes you can hit this arrow. Oh. Okay, you go back. Okay, now it's set for throttle only. And then you go in here and you take this, slide, slide it all the way over, and this will pop up, say 19 miles an hour, you hit yes. And then you go, if you can get it to work. I usually just go down here. So now it's throttle only. And I'll show you. Uh, see if I can do this. Um. <laughs> well, what, ha what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the bike back and turn the throttle and just show you this the throttle. All right. Okay. I go back here. It's only registering 18.6, but it's your. But if you're pedaling, you can't pedal faster than that in this thing. You have to have different gearing. So that's that. So okay. So I want to change this, right? I'm go back. I'm going to go back to pedal assist. So what we'll do here is you turn it off up here to be off. So now it says connect to your product. Well you go back up here and turn this switch plug it back in or I switch it on. So this is on now. I don't know if you can a little eye on that. So now I'm gonna turn it back on. I'm gonna turn it back on. It's gonna come back on. Now oh, that's my turn back. Now I'm gonna go back in here. Pedal assist. I want to pedal assist. So you go in here. And you hit the second one that you want to thrust against the ground or pedal. You hit that. And you should, it should go next out over, but it does not want to do that. Yeah, I was 
saying it's my fingers too dry. <laughs> I'm just now you don't want it to go uh, very fast because your pedal speed is going to be too much. So I'll put it over here. Well, it says 13. I'll just I'm gonna hit cancel. I want to go to 12. Ah, uh, shoot. Twelve miles an hour. Oh, here it is. Twelve miles an hour. So hit OK. Yeah, that let me do it. There. So now it's at twelve. So now when I pedal this thing, I'll tip it back again. Use both hands. So you guys can see this. Now I'm going to pedal it. Alright, so now you see it started up. Now watch it. Watch this. Let me see if I can set this up. <laughs> Hi. All right. Um, hit this. Hold down. Yeah, this way. All right. So now it's set up for pulses. That's what I was going to do originally. So when I tip this over and let the tire spring free, and just pedaling. It's about 10 miles an hour it kicks in. I mean, I could probably maintain about 16, 15 miles an hour. I mean, you could probably lower it a little bit. And you can, like, maintain 50 miles an hour. You have to mess with the settings. That's pretty much what you got to do. basically how you make the adjustments and then when you're done when you're do all done with it go back once you've made your settings clear go back up here and turn off the power and then I'll, and then I'll re that'll shut this off you'll realize it'll realize that it's not working <laughs> Oops. Oh, man. See, it'll say connect your product, and all I do is just close out of it. So I just wanted to talk, get, talk about that a little bit. You know, so if people have questions, I don't know if people are, some people are watching these videos and they might have questions and trying to do the best they can to you know, get my knowledge out to people. But I do think that the front chain ring on that is too small. I'm going to try putting a, uh, like a 12, 18 speed front chain ring on there. It's like, if I can get the one to line up to the back sprocket, it's like a, um, there's a 34, 
and a 24 teeth. If I can get it to 34, because the front chain ring on the Atlas is 38 teeth. Um, so if you drop down four teeth, a little harder to pedal, but at the higher speeds, you're going to get, you know, when you're up at 8 15 miles an hour and you're pedaling, it, your, your bike's going to want to go faster. So you're going to increase the uh, speed, you know, to a point, you know, if say you're, say you set this, the, the speed at 15 and you're pedaling along and you're with the with the smaller 34, you know, ring gear, and you're saying you're getting up to, uh, let's just say it gives you up to 17 miles an hour more, because your bike has the power to do it. I think it just needs, it's just a matter of sort of programming it to match your the gearing and the speed, so I'll, I'm going to work on that. <laughs> we'll see. So right now, stock is 38 teeth, front chain ring. The rear uh, sprocket is 16 teeth. Now, if they can give you a, a smaller rear sprocket or different size sprockets in the back, but then you have to take the whole motor and the wires all out and everything. So it might be beneficial to change get a whole uh, different selections of chain rings you know and just swap them out you know and have a I'll just put my Shimano um, tensioner on there and just keep it set at you know one the back one year and just so that you can replace you know switch gears if you want you know when you when you change this chain ring, it's, it's very ch changeable. <laughs> so I'm just saying it's possible to mess with the gearing and get it to go so you can pedal. Like, like say I want to pedal uh, the top max speed of 18 miles an hour. So I get the chain ring down to 34 or even smaller and you pedal in it. You know, you know, actually give you more power. Is it, that, it literally does add a little power. It's like a little generator. That's how I was. <clears throat> so, who knows, maybe it helps generate power uh, back to the motor. So, well, anyways, that's all I got to say. Um, I think this is a long ass video, but uh, it's probably worth it. The knowledge, things I'm learning. All right. Have a good night, good day.